managing multiple interests. Have you ever felt like you're being pulled in a million different directions? You want to be a writer, a musician, a traveler, a business owner, all at the same time. It's like you're trying to squeeze a million interests into one tiny life. I get it. The idea of being pigeonholed into a single career path is suffocating. And let's be real, this feeling is amplified in today's hyper-specialized economy. It's like we're expected to become experts in one narrow field, and anything outside of that is considered a distraction. But that's not how humans work. We're curious creatures, always seeking new experiences and challenges. We're here on this planet to explore, to learn, to grow. So if you're feeling this desire to do it all, you're not alone. It's a sign of a curious mind, a lifelong learner, someone who's always looking for the next adventure. But if you don't manage it correctly, this desire to do everything can become a trap. So how do we manage multiple interests without going crazy? How do we balance our passions and avoid getting overwhelmed? By the end of this video, you'll have a clear roadmap for managing your multiple interests. Identify your hierarchy of interests. The first step is to get clear on your priorities. Make a list of all your interests and hobbies, then rank them in order of importance. This will help you identify which ones you're most passionate about and which ones you can focus on for now. Remember, your priorities can change over time. It's okay to revisit and adjust your list as needed. By understanding your priorities, you can make the most of your time and energy. To identify your priorities, ask yourself questions like, what activities bring you the most joy and fulfillment? What are you naturally good at? What do you want to achieve in life? Once you have a clear understanding of your priorities, you can start to focus your energy on the things that truly matter. Set realistic goals. Once you've identified your priorities, it's time to set some goals. Break down your goals into smaller, achievable steps. This will help you stay motivated and make progress towards your dreams. Remember, it's okay to have multiple goals, but don't try to do everything at once. Focus on one or two at a time and gradually expand your focus as you achieve your goals. The great philosopher Aristotle once said, goals are like the compass that points you in the right direction. By setting clear goals, you can stay focused and motivated on your journey to set realistic goals. Make your goals specific and measurable. Set a deadline for each goal. This will help you stay accountable. Break down your goals into smaller steps. This will make them seem less daunting and more achievable. Build a schedule. Once you've identified your priorities and set your goals, it's time to create a schedule that will help you achieve them. Start by making a list of all your daily activities. This includes things like work, school, household chores, and personal time. Next, allocate time for your top priorities. Make sure you're scheduling enough time to pursue your passions and work towards your goals. Remember, flexibility is key, life happens, so be prepared to adjust your schedule as needed. To build an effective schedule, you can use a calendar or planner. This will help you visualize your time and stay organized, and schedule time for breaks and relaxation. It's important to avoid burnout. Be realistic about how much time you can realistically dedicate to each activity. Don't overcommit yourself. By doing this, you can create a schedule that supports your goals and helps you manage your multiple interests effectively. The next step is something I wish someone would have told me earlier. It would have saved so much mental burden and just freed me of the feeling that I have to do everything right now. What can I defer to the future? Not everything needs to be done right now. Learn to prioritize tasks and delegate responsibilities. This will free up your time and energy to focus on what truly matters. Remember, it's okay to say no. Don't overload yourself with commitments. Be selective about what you take on. As the legendary investor Warren Buffett once said, the key to success is to focus on a few things and do them really well. Ask yourself, is this task urgent? Is this task important? Can this task be delegated to someone else? Can this task be done later? By prioritizing tasks based on urgency and importance, you can ensure that you're spending your time on the most valuable activities. Avoid creative jealousy. One of the biggest challenges when pursuing multiple interests is dealing with creative jealousy. It's natural to feel inspired by others' accomplishments, but it's important to avoid letting that turn into envy or self-doubt. Instead of feeling jealous, use other people's successes as motivation to pursue your own goals. Remember, everyone's journey is unique. Just because someone else has achieved something doesn't mean you have to achieve it too. Here are some effective tips for overcoming creative jealousy. Focus on your own progress. Celebrate your achievements, no matter how small. Limit your exposure to social media. Social media can be a breeding ground for comparison and envy. Embrace the struggle. Following your interests is not always fun. It's not a smooth, linear journey. There will be ups and downs, setbacks, and moments of doubt. But it's precisely these challenges that help us grow and develop our skills. 
If you choose to stick with it, you'll find that the challenges you faced have made you stronger, more resilient, and more determined. You'll also start to see the fruits of your labor. Remember, it's okay to have a variety of passions. The key is to balance them effectively, set realistic goals, and practice self-care. If you're still facing the problem of managing multiple interests, then you're probably stuck in an overstimulation problem. I've already discussed that in this video how overstimulation is not letting you to manage your life and hobbies. So, check it out after this one. See you there.